lads and lassies. Okay, welcome back to the YouTube and welcome to my hotel room here in Melbourne in Australia. Uh, basically, it's a bit of a mess, but I flew in here last night from, I went to Auckland first from Wellington and then I flew into Melbourne and when I got here, my bags are missing. I actually wouldn't even really normally mind, but it's kind of an inconvenience uh, for two reasons. The first is for obvious reasons like I'm flying out of here today, so I'm gonna have to ship it to Ireland. Realistically, the guy was like, it's probably gonna be like a week until you see your bag, which is a headache. And the second is because it's currently about 11 a.m. here, and my flight is until 10 p.m., so I was kind of hoping to maybe go to Melbourne Wake Park, but now that's just a no-go. Like, I don't even have board shorts. I couldn't even, I don't know, it just, it just would be a mission. Don't even have sun cream, and as an Irish person, you can't not have sun cream. Today, this vlog, obviously, is gonna begin here and end when I'm back in Ireland, but whoa, 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 whoa. Easy on the transitions there, Dave. But anyway, yeah, no, it's gonna be, I don't know, a bit of a journey home. Anyway, I have to check out of this airport in like the next 20 minutes, so I'm gonna just put you on time lapse whilst I pack up my bags, and we will see you, we'll, I'll see you after that. I'm, I'm fumbling my words here. That was a really short time lapse. I know, that's what I would have been thinking too. But, that's because I have no bags. Anyway, let's go to the airport. a 68 hour journey which means we still have another 39 to go yo guys okay so it is currently 12 40 and my flight is at 10 39 so i basically have 10 hours to do something i don't know what it is so i thought about going into melbourne but I've already been in and last week was like the sickest experience there. So instead, I think I'm just gonna chill here, like actually do a bit of work instead of just living the dream. I went four days with no Wi-Fi, so I have like a good few emails and like as well, I always try to respond to as many comments as I can. So I'm gonna just spend some time buying out a few comments, do a bit of editing and just kind of just chill a bit. Americano, a bottle of water, and a uh, one of these. Thank you. No! So I didn't realise, or I didn't really care that my bag was missing, and then I remembered all my camera chargers are in that bag, which means when this camera and the other camera die, we're gonna struggle. So I'm gonna try, if anyone in Dublin actually has a uh, Lumix G80 charger that would be sick because I could be a week without one and I think I should be able to get my hands on the Canon one for this camera but uh, what a shambles I didn't even care before now and now it really matters yo guys okay so it is many 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 hours later and uh, I've just kind of been chilling on my laptop I, the one thing I did was I downloaded new music which I've been wanting to do for so long because I've had like 10 songs to choose for like the last like 15 videos and I think they just get repetitive and finding music can make a video but it's also an absolute bitch of a job to do but I'm glad I did it. Anyway, so my flight is in probably like an hour so I'm just gonna chill out a bit more and then instead of like showing you loads of clips from like, I don't know, the plane because I'm like scared it's gonna be like a boring video and um, I'm just gonna transition until when I'm back in Ireland and I've just landed. It's a windy day but I'm just collecting my car. I'm literally the most tired man in the whole world. I feel like I haven't slept. I actually, it's nearly been three days. Anyway, I'm gonna hop in the car here and uh, I'll meet you when we're back home. So I am finally home. It has literally been three days. I am exhausted, but it was 110% worth it. And I really hope that you enjoyed watching the Australia videos and New Zealand videos, because they were probably some of my best ones ever. And the channel grew a lot over that time. So thank you so, so much. And also massive thank you to everyone in Australia and New Zealand who made the trips happen. Um, but yeah, 
I swear I am exhausted. That's the longest journey I've ever had. Three, like literally three full days to get home. Anyway, tomorrow it's gonna be a Q&A, so uh, that just gives me a chance for you guys to ask any questions you might have and also for me to kind of get ahead of myself for filming because literally I'm gonna, I can't even speak. I'm gonna take out the memory card, put it into the computer, edit this clip into the video and then upload it like straight away. So this one's on the day. So give it a, give it a cue, I actually can't talk. Anyway, nonetheless, just ask any questions below you might have about anything or anything at all. Um, but anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Thanks for making the Australia and New Zealand trips the sickest ever. Also, I still have no bags and no word from the airline. But thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow in the Q&A and the day after for some good old classic vlogs.